Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the one player that Shaq couldn't intimidate. I just did a video on the one player that could stop Kobe. Thanks for the support on that one. And if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out and I'll put a link in the description. So I thought I'd keep this theme going and take it to a former teammate of Kobe's, the Big Diesel. I know it's the NBA offseason and the trade rumors and free agent signings are starting to calm down, but here on the channel, we're not taking any time away from basketball. You know basketball never stops, so expect a lot more interesting videos coming forward. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it, and it helps me out to see if you like these type of videos. And leave a comment down below. I'm always down there reading your feedback, and I value it. Now let's get started. So the only thing that's certain about life is that there is a God. You'd have to have more faith to believe that there isn't with all the evidence that exists. And we pretty much speculate on everything else, so I won't say everyone believes that Shaq was the most dominant player in NBA history, but a large majority of humans believe that, so the foundation for this video has been laid. Shaq was so physically dominant, but most star players, including Shaq, look to obtaining a mental edge over their opponents to gain the upper ground in a matchup. When I would say something, if you say something back, I had you. If I elbow you and you complain, I had you. Shaq explained on Inside the NBA in 2013. So if we believe that O'Neal was the most physically dominant player to ever play basketball, and he had a mental edge over his opponents, who could possibly be the one player to override all this? Well, if he could dream it, he could achieve it. Yeah, that, that was bad. That was bad. I'll take the L on that one, that's my bad. Hakeem Olajuwon stands 7 feet tall, which is an inch shorter than Shaq, but in the 1995 NBA Finals, he made Shaq appear smaller than him. With averages of 32.8 points and 11.5 rebounds, throwing 5.5 assists with 2 steals and 2 blocks per game, Olajuwon became the only player that Shaq openly admits he couldn't intimidate. You may say, yeah, okay, well that wasn't the prime Shaq in LA that was huge, and you're right. Shaq hadn't started to put on the muscle and weight like he did in LA, but this was no weak version of Shaq. He was in his third year in the league, coming off of two straight seasons in which he posted 29.3 points per game, the second highest point scoring average for a single season in his career. Hakeem was coming off of a Western Conference Finals in which he humbled, that's a nice way of putting it, the MVP David Robinson and the Spurs in six games. Hakeem's Rockets swept Shaq's magic in the finals and the dream simply wasn't phased by anything Shaq did to him, and always had an answer for the diesel. As Shaq puts it here, first play of the game, I gave him the patented Shaq bow, jump hook, 2 nothing. He just smiled at me, and then he came down and gave me a move, shot a jumper and said, right back at you big fella. Hakeem would respond to Shaq verbally and would back it up with this plethora of moves. Olajuwon's arsenal is to this day the most expansive and difficult to guard out of any of the great bigs in NBA history. Just listen to what Hakeem says about his mentality here. When somebody tries to now intimidate you, now we'll back down. So if you couple Hakeem's mindset with his size and skill, championship experience, and a red hot Rockets team out to prove everyone wrong, Shaq could have thrown everything in the kitchen sink at him, and it wouldn't have worked, even in his dreams. Get it? His dreams, the dream, Elijah one. Man, there's a lot of bad puns in this video today. I gotta apologize to all of you. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is Hakeem or Shaq the greatest big man of all time? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!